What's good, you guys? It's your boy Bolo, and I'm pretty sure you guys know who this is. You wanted a jazzy melody? I got you. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this midi pack, and I'm gonna give you guys my honest opinions on it. So let's get to it. Bolo! All right, before we get started, if you have not subscribed, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you guys comment on the videos in the comment section. I love reading you guys' comments. And please turn on those post notifications so you guys would know the next time I have another video available. And at the end of this video, please hit that thumbs up if you like the video. If you do not like the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs down. As you guys already know, your opinion matters to me. And if you like it or don't like it, I really don't care. Just let me know something. So we're gonna check out Nico's midi pack. Um, of course, there's a few other midi packs out here. I'm gonna go ahead and check out this Nico midi pack and see how it stands up versus some of the other stuff that I've used. Now, I'm not really a midi pack type of a person, but sometimes when I get in beat block, this is something that is kind of useful for me because if I'm sitting here and I really can't figure out any melodies or whatever, I would like to get some type of helper tool to get me along in the beat making process, whether it be using loops or it's using midi packs. Now, the best thing about using midi pack is you could actually go in and just use the MIDI information to any instrument you wanna use, and you can change up the MIDI information to fit what you're trying to do. So it's not like you're just locked in with a loop. You can go ahead, add in the MIDI information, put it to any sound you wanna add it to, and then you can actually go through and change the notes and make it your own thing, which is actually pretty dope. All right, so what does this pack have to offer? It has thousands of MIDI files that span over all of the keys, all of them. So it spans over all the keys and it spans over multiple genres. So if you like classical, if you like trap, if you like all that stuff, it spans through all of that and you can use those files to create your own sound if you want to. And they're royalty free. So if you go and change up a few things, you ain't really gotta worry about nobody coming after you like that. And to be honest with you, it's used by a lot of people too. So don't let these guys fool you and say, hey, I do everything myself. There's a lot of people out here using MIDI files. So don't feel like you're kind of like cheating or feel like you know it's wrong to do it because a lot of people do use MIDI files. Don't let these guys fool you out here. They're using them. Okay, and let's talk about the price. Um, it is 70% off of the original price of $97. So you can get these for very cheap and you can go ahead and have something that will get you started. Like if you don't really know keys and stuff like that, you can go ahead and plug these files in, put it in the key that you want to put it into, and you can actually manipulate the files to fit what you're trying to do. So that's actually a positive thing because if you're kind of stuck and you really don't know chords and you don't really know certain like music theory, stuff like that, you can go ahead and use these and it could possibly make you a super producer. How about that? So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and check this out. I'm gonna do this quickly because there's a whole bunch of videos that are out showing you how to do this that's more in depth, but I like to get this done quickly because you guys don't like to watch videos very long. So I'm gonna show you guys um, how you can use this and we're gonna open this up in Studio One and I'm gonna show you guys how you can use the Nico MIDI pack to create a beat. So let's get to that right now. Okay, you guys, we are now in Studio One and I already have a uh, session pulled up. And in this session right now, I have a Juno 6 from the Arteria Collection. I got that pulled up into this track right here. I have a clap and I have a hi-hat and I have an 808 bass already put in here. Right now, this is the only thing that is going on in the track right now, just the claps and the hi-hats. Let me play that real quick. All right, so that's pretty much it. That's all we have, but we can still build a great song just using that already because if you already have some drum patterns and stuff that you want to use, you can go ahead and take those drum patterns, import them into your session, and then from there, all you need to do is use the Nico's MIDI pack for your melodies. Now, the thing I really like about this MIDI pack is the way he has everything set up in the pack. It is very very, very simple to find what you're looking for in this pack. And I like how he has everything set up. So right now I'm going to go use 
one that everybody pretty much knows that is the C major pack that is all the white keys on the keyboard. And if you go down in here, as you can see, he has everything split up in four different folders, but in each containing folder, he has a plethora of stuff already in here. So as you can see, if you go to best melodies that he has, he has catchy, dark, hip hop, EDM, emotional, Nico's favorites, pop and R&B, Neo Soul. Dope. Now we can go to another folder which says best chords, which is dark, hip hop, EDM, emotional, pop, R&B, Neo Soul. Again, so these are different chords from the best melodies. Then we can go right here into more melodies, and then he has actual tempo related stuff in here for that. And there's just tons and tons and tons of stuff in each one of these folders, which is really dope. And he has a bonus folder with ARPs and chords and rhythms and all this type of stuff. So it's just so much stuff to use that I could really be on this video for hours, but I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys how I would use it my own simple way. So as you can see, he has so many, and what I wanna do is I'm gonna go right here to more melodies and actually like this right here because it gives me a tempo range from 115 to 130 BPM. And right now, this song is right now set at 130 BPM. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab any one, I, nothing in particular. I just wanna see if it's gonna work. So let's go ahead and click on that one and let's just drag this one in and see how it sounds. So we're gonna drag this in and we are going to play it. So let's play it. That's dope. So now if I want to go into my Juno and change the sound, like just change any type of sound in here. Let's see. Probably not that one. Uh, let's go to a little too long. Let's try that. This migrating lead. And let's play it. Oh, that's hard. I like how that sounds. So that's something different right there that we can use and we can build our track from that. Now, a lot of times what people say is, well, what about the basses and stuff like that? Well, the good thing about this is if you want to actually go in here, you can see all of the notes because this is MIDI information and we can stretch this stuff out. And as you can see, he has all the bass notes put in here. And that way we can go through and actually use these notes to make up our base. So what I'm gonna do, just to keep it very simple, I'm gonna go right here and just get these couple notes right here. And I'm going to go to copy those notes and I'm gonna go out of here and let me go down to uh, my next track right here. And then I want to make me a bass track which has no information on there right now. And then I'm actually gonna go back and I'm going to press paste and I'm going to paste those notes in here. Now these notes are a little bit too low right now so I'm going to highlight these and I'm going to go ahead and pitch these up an octave. So I'm going to have them go right there. I had to go up two octaves right now. So I'm just going to take just these notes right here. I'm going to take this note away right here and then once I play the beat, let me show you guys what happens. And that simple, we already have a bass line that matches what we have. So now we can go in here and we can take the other notes from out of here as well and make some other stuff. Or we can go ahead and just add some extra notes in here since we know what we got. So I can actually take this and then uh, so maybe it'll probably like go from like right here and let's see how it goes. So we can probably go right here. probably take this one and move this to about right here and let's see how it sounds and then probably take this one and add this note over to this one right here and see how it sounds actually I did that wrong let me slide this right here and then, and then take this one and probably move this, uh, probably this one right here and move this to about right there, I would assume. 
And I'm not the type that really types in notes like that, so y'all gotta bear with me. So let's see how it sounds. And then we can either take this note and we can actually move this note back down to this note right here. So see how that sounds now. And I could probably take this one right here and probably move this note to about right there. See how it sounds. And as you can see, you can build off of just using the first MIDI information that we put in. So now let's go ahead and clear this out. And we're going to do one more melody. I'm going to tell you guys, this is it's really cool because all the stuff he has in here sounds really good. And just by me going through it, I can just click on just about anything. and It's going to sound good. So let's see how this sounds right here. All right, and let's go ahead and change up the sound in here. Let's go ahead and use, uh, let's try some keys in here and let's try, uh, I don't know, maybe like a dark, that's a road. I don't wanna use that when we use that. All right. Let's try something else. Let's try that, just see how it sounds. So let's go ahead and play it. All right, so that's actually kind of dope. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna take all the bass parts and I'm going to copy those. I'm gonna make a whole new bass track right here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right here and I'm going to paste all of those notes in here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna randomly pick the notes out of here. So I'm actually going to take, uh, cause that's the lowest octave right there. I'm gonna take those two out um i'm going to take this one out take that one out i'm going to leave this one right here and i'm going to actually take this lower one but with this lower one i'm going to shift this upper octave actually two octaves right there and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take these and shift these upper octave and then let's just see how it sounds just on some random stuff so let's see how it goes All right, so it sounds pretty decent. So um, we know what the notes are. So I'm actually, actually going to send this back down an octave right here. And then now we can just fill in the gaps like we did last time. So we'll just play it back. And I'm going to go ahead and add this right here. So I'm going to do the pop it light. Uh, let's see. probably just do like another one um, right here and we're going to add this one right here and and then this one we're going to change this up too so let's play it back and then I'm going to probably put one right over with that clap oops my bad And then pop it here. Pop it right there. And let's see how it sounds. All right, there it is. As you guys can see, it is very easy to use the Nico Midi Pack. As you can see, it's just a plug and play type of a situation. 
and you can use it across all genres and you can mix genres up together and you can use your own sounds. You can manipulate the MIDI files. It's actually not a bad situation. This is a tool for you. Um, I actually can use it as well. Like if I'm stuck, I can just go to the computer, plug some stuff in there, change some things up and get some ideas rolling and I can get to making my music. So if you are interested in this, go ahead and click the link in the description and you can get all of this for 70% off right now. So go ahead in the video description, click that link and go ahead and get the Nico MIDI files and you'll be able to use this to make some really good beats and productions. So um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something from it. And like I always say, peace out.